Hi, my name is Dr. James Lehman, and I'll be narrating this DALC surgery done by Dr. Menon from Addis Ababa, Ethiopia. Here, Dr. Menon is passing an episcleral bite to suture down a flaringa ring in case the surgery has to be converted to a PK. Here, she's marking the uh, geometric center of the cornea from the limbus, which you pre-measure after measuring the corneal diameter. This is an optical zone marker used to aid in trephination. And then that's a paracentesis and now some injection of uh, viscoelastic into the anterior chamber. This would firm up the eye and help with uh, trephination. You can see the pupil getting slightly bigger there, indicating the AC was deepening. In this technique of Dahlk, Dr. Menon is going to do partial trephination in order to uh, dissect off the free cap before making the big bubble. So she's doing some quarter turns on the tree fine here. And then after achieving adequate depth, she's going to remove it and then investigate how deep she made the cap. Uh, it looks like it was maybe not deep enough on the right side there. So she's going to do a little more hand trephination. and then using a crescent blade and a 0.12 forceps. You can see the full dissection of the cap and you can see the rough underlying stroma. Now she's gonna to attempt to uh, remove some of the viscoelastic and inject uh, some air in there. So if there's air in the anterior chamber, it aids you when you make the big bubble to, to make sure that you have bared uh, decimase membrane and the bubble is still intact. So using a cannula, she's injecting air now into the stroma and it looks like we're getting a, a mixed bubble here, probably a, a type two at first and there's an area of type one there where she's touching with the wex cell at this point, trying to get a little more peripheral extension of the dissection and now removal of the cannula. So the next step here is gonna involve doing the brave slash and she's gonna to try to decompress the anterior chamber a little bit, get the eye a little bit softer. And then there's some viscoelastic she's putting over the stroma to help slow the egress of air once the brave slash is made. And you can see that area decompresses rather quickly. Now she's using a cannula and injecting viscoelastic to create some space to extend that uh, initial incision. This can be done with scissors also that are blunt on the bottom side so that you don't cut decimase membrane. And it's always good to keep refilling that potential space with viscoelastic so that, um, that you're creating enough space where you don't cut decimase membrane. She's extending this and the idea here is to cut the uh, posterior stroma into four quadrants so that you can excise them from the area that was trephinated. Here she's using a viscoelastic to fill up that area and now the um, a dissecting spatula to help extend that dissection into the area of trephination. So it's a very nice technique here to extend the area of dissection gently so that you can cut it at the area that was tree fine and, and it's not smaller or uneven at the tree fine edge. So these are those type of scissors that are blunt on the bottom and a little longer on the bottom as well. And she's cutting uh, this, these lamella into, into quadrants so they can be removed. Real care is taken here not to cut decimase membrane, always improving the view by removing some of that viscoelastic and always using a little more viscoelastic if it needed to push posteriorly that uh, decimase membrane due as layer complex. So it looks like she almost has it in the four petal pattern here, extending it all the way out to that area of trephination, which is most likely about eight millimeters. 
and uh, now she's going to extend it uh, inferiorly with care as always. It gets more delicate as you get to that area because that's where there's still uh, less dissection. And now using scissors to remove um, the four lamella at the site of trephination. So again, she's removing the petals from the area of trephination there, and this is the last last step there. You can see how clear the underlying decimase is there. It's probably a type 2 bubble. And here she's putting the donor lamella there. That's been removed. The decimase membrane has been removed from that. It's kind of set into position. And then using uh, Pollock forceps, she um, passes half thickness through the donor and then 90% thickness through the recipient, coming out just short of the limbus in a very nice pattern there. Uh, after suturing that 311, the most important suture, as we know, she sutures the inferior one the same way half thickness through the donor, 90% thickness through the recipient. Then the video's fast forwarded and she's done 16 nice radial sutures uh, with a nice depth and symmetry to all of them. You can see there's they're very nice radial sutures. This last step just involves injecting antibiotics and steroids. So great surgery there. Thank you very much.